Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. It's been quite a while since I filmed my last video. First of all, I want to say a big, big welcome to all my new subscribers. We finally hit 10K. <laughs> yay so thank you so much for joining me on this journey in today's video i just wanted to come and share with you guys how we're gonna go about our ayurveda hair growth challenge it's about 3 a.m right now and i have no idea why i'm so chirpy but this is just my life at the minute i have to take the time when i get it I started my Ayurveda journey in 2020 um, and it was because I noticed that my hair wasn't really doing much. I wouldn't say it wasn't growing but I'd say I wasn't retaining as much length as I could and I have to say since I have been trying it my hair has been a lot more manageable, less breakage, it's got a lot of shine and that's just what happens when you're using all these amazing herbs in your hair so for the challenge i'm thinking to start in march so if i give you guys two weeks to prepare yourselves for the challenge so what you're gonna need is obviously you're gonna need your ayurveda herbs and the ones that i would recommend especially if you're just starting out your ayurveda journey and you've not really been you know trying any of these herbs i would recommend fenugreek and amla for myself i wouldn't say i'm that deep into it just yet the ones that i use very often is definitely amla because it has a lot of amazing properties and i know that it's it's one of those that you can't really go wrong with it um, some of these other herbs you have to be very careful when using them and one of them is henna um, I have henna but I literally just use like a tiny bit of it because I'm just so scared of like my hair getting too hard because there's a skill and it takes a lot to actually do it properly you need to know what you're doing basically it also can loosen your curl pattern and obviously it also changes your hair color so if you're new to this start with fenugreek and amla so you're gonna need your ayurvedic herbs and then you're gonna need to make your ayurveda hair growth oil i have a video of a hair growth oil that i made but i'll put it up here for you to have a look in that video i used a lot more of the other ayurveda herb powders but i have an updated video where i just used the amla and fenugreek powder so i will have to upload that as my next video so definitely keep an eye out for that if you're not into diy and making your own stuff i'm also going to link in the description box an ayurveda oil that i've been using it's a little bit on the pricier side but it really does the job i've been using it on my edges so yeah it's it's an oil by equibotanics that i've been trying out since the new year so i'll definitely li link that below and you can get that if you're not into making your own stuff and then three we're gonna need to start on a clean slate so that means we're gonna need to trim our hair I know, I know, a lot of you love to hold onto them dead ends. No, they have to go. Especially if you're growing your hair, you need to start on a clean slate. Start on a foundation that is strong to create an environment conducive for growth and for great results. So we're definitely going to need to trim our hair. If you've recently trimmed, you probably don't need a trim, but... Um, if you need a trim sis please 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 do it okay your hair will thank you for it number four moisturize as often as possible for our type of hair mine especially the coily very kinky 
curls it needs a lot of moisture i used to do it about once to three times a week but since i've had baby i mm, i'd be lying if i said i even moisturize my hair once a week now it's a struggle so i basically just moisturize it whenever i can but for this challenge if you do it every day you will get the optimum results but not everybody has time to do that the sweet spot for me is like every three days so that's what i do but generally listen to your hair if it needs moisture just moisturize it and one thing about being able to provide good moisture for your hair is using like good quality products um not these products that are like 199 mm, they probably have a lot of junk in there toxins that is not good for you so make sure you invest in good quality products one quality product and brand that i've recently tried is um camille rose naturals their products are amazing it smells like cake like it just smells like you're just walking around with cake in your hair it's amazing it's moisturizing it's just everything so definitely look into that i'm gonna put a link below for that as well i've also tried saint Clair's hair care their moisturizer is amazing it's very thick and gooey actually let me go get it and show you guys so this is the oil that i was talking about the equibotanics ivida oil that you can use if you don't like diy this is the saint Clair's moisturizer that i was talking about it smells amazing um and it's just like really thick and i love moisturizers like this so if you if you've got kinky hair these type of moisturizers will be very good for you and because it's so thick it will it just means that you won't have to like moisturize every day even maybe like every couple of days will be okay so the quality of your products are really really important if you already have products that work for you definitely stick to them but these are if you really want to try new stuff and you don't really or you don't really have anything that you are using currently that works for you the next one is to deep condition never miss deep conditioning whether that be a protein treatment or a moisturizing treatment because i wash my hair once a month i always make sure to do a protein treatment because that's literally the longest you can get away with without doing a protein treatment so make sure you do your protein treatment and the protein treatment that i use is this protein defense by healthy hair studios i've actually made a video about this i love this stuff um, and as you can see even though it's expensive i've used it all of 2020 and i've still got it i've also heard good 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 things about camille rose naturals um algae renew deep conditioning mask i've not tried it yet but i've heard amazing um reviews about it i was actually gifted this by camille rose so yeah i look forward to trying it so if you don't have a protein treatment that works for you definitely have a look into this or the healthy studios one and i think the last one will just be to protective style and you know make sure you're not doing too much to your hair leave it alone if you can for me since i became a mom i've been wearing a lot of head wraps it's just been easier for me my hair is generally a mess all the time uh, so it's just easier to just cover it up i guess and so this scarf is from um, House of Medjools. I will link them below as well. I bought this when they had their sale. They had three colors and I absolutely love, love, love them. It's just like amazing. So yeah, protective style and also to reduce the amount of heat that you use. And also if you're going to use heat, make sure that you are protecting your hair. Also, I forgot to say, that we will do the Ivida hair growth challenge for 
three months starting from the 14th of march i'm thinking of going live um so i'm gonna come on here and trim my hair with you guys so if you're joining the challenge and you want to trim your hair and you want that little bit of motivation you can join me on that day and then we can trim our hair together and have a, a little chat and if you guys have any questions you can ask me on that day let me know what you think i was also thinking that at the end of every month i'll come on here and do a health check so i like the idea of health checks as opposed to length checks because then it's not so length focused got this health check idea from green beauty i'll put her link below she's an amazing educator about hair and she gets all sciencey which is like really cool so definitely check her out So yeah, I think that's it for the the rules of I, our Ayurveda hair care challenge. I'm really excited for this challenge because I know that it will force me to look after my hair. Thank you for watching and I shall see you in my next video. Bye!